One of the important objectives of system researchers and system architecture researchers is to investigate how future uh, hardware platforms should be designed for emerging workloads. ABI research predicts that we'll have 485 million shipments of wearables uh, by the year 2018. And these are computers essentially where the key way to interact with them is through natural language, through voice. Because of this need, we created Sirius, an open end-to-end -end intelligent personal assistant. In creating Sirius, we've essentially stitched together three interesting components that span multiple disciplines in computer science. Computer vision for image matching, uh, signal processing for speech recognition, a machine learning in the question and answer system as well as the speech recognition. By taking these three components, we've created one end-to-end -end service where you can use natural language as well as an image to ask questions. So if you see a restaurant and you take a picture with that restaurant with your smartphone, you can simply ask, when does this restaurant close? Uh, Sirius will be able to identify what restaurant that is and also find the information that you need and give you a natural language response. This restaurant will close at 7 p.m. And using these three components, we've been able to create a very compelling end-to-end -end service that uses the same algorithms you find in industry uh, and we've used this to study future data center designs. When we think about the way data centers must be designed moving forward, adding more machines to handle an increased load uh, to these intelligent personal assistants is not the right answer. You need to change the kind of machines that live in data centers. What we found is using uh, future techniques such as um, FPG and GP accelerations, we could reduce the number of machines required to uh, actually provide this kind of service to the world by 10x, significantly reducing the resource requirements and the cost of data centers. What's interesting with Sirius is we didn't just create a research tool, but also an application for users to create their own personal assistant. For example, a computer vision student could remove the image matching algorithms that we were using and use their own image algorithms and see how it affects the end-to-end -end system. In another light, a machine learning or artificial intelligence student could take the question answering service and pinpoint a specific algorithm that they would want to retool and see how it affects the final answers that the users are given. Sirius actually provides this platform for a lot of researchers from different uh, disciplines to actually come together to study their techniques and the impact on the future service. Sirius has gone way beyond our expectations. For the first time ever, now we as a community of developers have an open intelligent personal assistant that we can customize or retool for our own purposes, or we can use to study how future data center infrastructures should work. And we're continuing to not only develop uh, new types of systems for this kind of workload, but we're also improving the intelligent personal assistant, making it smarter.